Hi, I'm Jess from the Victorian Electoral Commission, or VEC. The VEC runs local council and state elections in Victoria. It's important to vote to ensure your voice is heard by those who make decisions about things that affect the way you live. Local council elections will take place across Victoria this October. The elections will be held by post for all councils, except Casey and Whittlesea City Councils and South Gippsland Shire Council. These three councils are currently under administration. Ballot packs will be mailed to everyone on the voters' roll for the council elections from the 6th to the 8th of October. Your council pack will look like this and will have the VEC logo on the envelope. Unless you're on the voters' roll for Melbourne City Council, in which case you'll receive this slightly larger version. In the ballot pack, you will find candidate statements attached to the ballot paper, voting instructions, a ballot paper envelope with a flap, and a reply paid envelope. In the metro areas, there will also be a multi-language leaflet. You separate the ballot paper from the candidate statements and consider the statements. Further information and contact details for the candidates can be found on the VEC's website, vec.vic.gov.au. Once you have considered who you wish to vote for, complete the ballot paper by putting a number one in the box next to the candidate you most want to win. Place a number two in the box next to your second choice and keep numbering all the boxes in order of your choice. Be careful to use numbers only and not accidentally repeat any number twice. Place the completed ballot paper in the ballot paper envelope, that's the one with the flap, and seal it. Then fill out your details on the flap and sign and date it. We remove the flap when we receive your vote back and use those details to mark you off the roll, so it's important to ensure you complete the ballot paper envelope addressed to you. Place the ballot paper envelope into the reply paid envelope and get it into the mail as soon as possible. It's really important that you complete and return your vote promptly, as it must be in the mail or hand delivered to the election office by the close of voting at 6pm on Friday the 23rd of October. As Australia Post collection pickup times vary across the state, it's a good idea to check with your local post box for collection days and times. An even better idea is to get it posted as soon as you can, so you don't need to worry about the collection times at the last minute. Now, if you're on the roll for the Melbourne City Council elections, you'll receive two ballot papers. The small pink ballot paper is for the election of the leadership team, which consists of the Lord Mayor and the Deputy Lord Mayor. There will also be a booklet for the leadership team containing candidate photos, a team statement and the indication of preferences. The larger blue ballot paper is for the election of nine councillors. There will be a group voting ticket booklet with voting instructions, candidate photos and statements, a ballot paper envelope with a flap and a reply paid envelope to mail it back. You should consider the statements from the leadership team candidates and those of the councillors too. As always, some further information is available on the VEC's website in the form of statements, responses to the questionnaires and contact details. To vote for the leadership team, place a number one in the box next to the team you most want to see elected, a number two next to your second choice and so on, until all of the boxes are numbered in order of your choice. The larger blue ballot paper is for the election of Melbourne's nine councillors. You can either vote above the line for the group of councillors you most wish to see elected and you are done. Or number all of the boxes alongside the individual councillor candidates below the line in order of your choice. As there are a lot of candidates, take special care not to accidentally repeat a number below the line. If you make a mistake, just put a line through the error. Write the correct number next to the box marked in error. Take both completed ballot papers, place them in the ballot paper envelope, remember, that's the one with the flap, seal it and complete your details. Sign and date it, then put the ballot paper envelope into the reply paid envelope. Now get posting. As we've already mentioned, in the mail before 6pm Friday the 23rd of October. Not to put too fine a point on it. <laughs>